What's up guys, it's Grant. Hopefully you guys can see me okay and hopefully hear me okay. Uh, so basically today's video is a little bit different than what I normally upload. Obviously this isn't a training video, it's kind of just me sitting here and talking. I haven't uploaded in uh, a little bit over a month, I think it is, and I talked about it in my last video that I kind of had an announcement to make in terms of, you know, my direction with my channel and everything. So I decided I would upload this video today to kind of explain what's been going on with everything. Uh, if you guys follow me on other forms of social media, you probably already know what's going on. But for those of you that follow me just solely on YouTube, I kind of wanted to make this video to let you guys know what's going on. And then people also have been asking me what's going on in terms of martial arts. So I kind of wanted to do just one big update video and also I guess apologize yet again for not uploading for a long time. I kind of have a valid excuse this time, I think, but uh, still I apologize for not uploading in a while. People have been sending me messages and commenting on videos, you know, like why aren't you uploading and stuff. Um, but I think, I, like I said, I think I have a valid excuse, but uh, we'll see. So again, most of you who are watching this video probably already know what's going on. But for those of you that don't, basically for the past month and a week, I think it is, I've been living in Germany. I moved to Germany for school and obviously I've been super busy with the legal work of living in Germany and, you know, just getting settled in and all kinds of other things. I've been juggling obviously along with starting school too. Uh, so I've been super busy with that, which is obviously the majority of the reason why I haven't been able to upload. And also because, you know, like I said, most of my videos in the past were revolving around martial arts and I had to find a school here, which I'm going to be talking about in a little bit as well when I talk more about the martial arts side of the update. And um, yeah, so I've basically just been really busy with different things and haven't had a chance to, you know, record this video or talk about what's going on. But I thought that, you know, I guess now is kind of the time for those of you, like I said, that don't follow me on other social medias and didn't really know what was going on and just had that long period of me not uploading after kind of having a decent pace with uploading videos. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. So I think it was about a week before I left for Germany, I posted a poll on Instagram. And again, if you don't follow me on other social medias, you can go down in the description, you know, and follow them if you guys wanna participate in polls in the future and stuff then you can go check that out but I posted a poll and it was basically asking for those of you that watch my videos whether you'd rather have me just upload videos relating to like martial arts and the bow staff in Canada or to post videos while I'm in Germany and I was actually really surprised by how many people voted on it it was one of like the more voted on polls I guess you could say that I posted on Instagram so thank you guys for actually taking the time to vote and again I was also surprised because it was hundred percent in favor of making videos while in Germany so it was good, obviously, for me to see that you guys don't just want to see, you know, like training videos and stuff, you kind of want to see stuff uh, outside of it while I'm here in Germany. And I think obviously it's a great opportunity to make some pretty cool videos too. Um, so that's kind of the plan in terms of, like I said, for direction for my YouTube channel, um, at least for while I'm here. So I kind of want to make, you know, I don't know if they'd be considered travel videos, but you know, just get clips of whatever and try to put together a pretty cool video that hopefully you guys would like to see. Um, and actually one request that I've gotten a couple times now is to make an apartment tour. I'm not in my apartment right now. I'm actually in Paris for the next couple days and then I'm gonna be going back to my apartment. But a couple people have asked for that. Now my apartment is super like bland, like it doesn't really have anything in it. Um, but a couple people have asked, so I thought maybe I'll put that together and try to make that, I guess, as interesting as possible, even though it's gonna be really difficult because there's, like I said, barely anything in the room. So that'll probably be, I guess, the next video on my channel, most likely. Um, and again, like I said, you know, making videos not only in Germany, but you know, traveling, like, like I said, I'm in Paris right now. So uh, maybe I'll be able to make a small video of this trip. I'm only here for a couple days. But, uh, you know, if I get enough footage or get good enough footage of stuff, I can kind of just, you know, put together like a quick video of, you know, maybe things I want to see um, or anything. I guess it, it depends on, you know, what I'm recording and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of more of the direction I'll have for the time that I'm overseas. So obviously this doesn't mean I'm going to stop making martial arts and bow staff videos. It's obviously kind of like the main theme on my channel. So I'm hoping probably soon to be able to make another one of those and I'll talk about that in just a second too because that relates to the I guess martial arts update for me um, but I'm hoping to you know still be able to make some of those but like I said the the base of the content while I'm here will probably be more you know like traveling or um, different kinds of things that I'm doing in and around Germany uh, France wherever I go um, and hopefully again that'll be interesting for you guys. So that's basically the update in terms of the direction for my channel. Uh, so now moving on to the other portion of things, the martial arts aspect. So I've been getting uh, a bunch of questions asking if I'm going to be going to Worlds this year. And just to clarify that, I won't be at Worlds this year. And even though I'd really like to be there, obviously, um, I didn't try out this year. So the World Championships is in a few weeks, I think. It's actually 
I'm pretty sure it starts at the end of October and goes till the beginning of November. But uh, basically this year it's in Niagara Falls or the American side of Niagara Falls, so New York. Basically, like I said, I'm here in Germany now and I'm still gonna be here when the World Championships are happening. So it'd be a little bit difficult to you know, leave Germany and put a pause on studying for a week or you know, not attend classes for a week to fly almost basically back home because back home I live, I think it's like three hours or so from Niagara Falls, but that's the Canadian side. Um, but to fly all the way back home, spend that week competing at the World Championships, and then fly all the way back to Germany and catch up on schoolwork, especially that close to the end of the semester. Like I think uh, basically I would, I would finish competing at the World Championships and then in like two weeks I'd have my first exam or something like that. So it, it's kind of unrealistic in terms of that and that's what I kind of knew going in, which is why I didn't try out this year. If it worked out better with school timing and stuff, then I definitely would have tried to make it work. But it's just so difficult considering, you know, I'd have to, like I said, fly all the way back home and then from home fly all the way back to Germany. So if it was somewhere, say, in Europe this year, then that would be a little bit easier because, you know, it's obviously a lot closer. But uh, I guess it was kind of unfortunate that it was back home, which is, I guess, weird to say. Um, because, again, that just makes it more difficult for me to come from Europe all the way back home and then back to Europe. And then, of course, after that question, people have been asking me, am I going to be going next year? Um, I can't really give a definite answer to that right now, unfortunately. It depends on a ton of different things. And honestly, it's not even that far away. It starts in April, or the provincial tryouts are in April, and then national tryouts in May. And I think the World Championships got moved to August, whereas they're usually in October, November area. So that's pretty nice. It's, it's good timing, obviously, with uh, school, most likely, in terms of where the World Championships is, because obviously in the summer, you're probably not studying. Um, but that's kind of where, you know, a couple obstacles go in the way for me personally in terms of when I'm going to be studying, uh, where I'm going to be during the tryouts or during the Worlds. So there's a bunch of different things that I have to consider, so I can't really say whether I am going or not. So next year the World Championships will be in Madrid, Spain, uh, which, it's not that it sucks, I just wish that the year that they did Madrid was this year instead of next year. That way I could just go from Germany to Madrid and then back to Germany and continue studying after the World Championships. But, uh, but it is in Madrid next year and that's awesome because I'd like to go. I've only been to Madrid once and that was just for a layover when we were going to Cadiz, I think it was, if I pronounced that right. Uh, for the 2011 World Championships, which was actually the first one I went to. So it'll be the first time in Spain if I go since uh, the first World Championships that I went to. So that would be pretty cool. But again, not 100% sure if that's going to be a possibility. And also relating back to making videos while in Germany that relate to martial arts and the bow staff. I've actually been training at a school in Germany and I didn't know if I was going to have that, which was another reason why I wasn't sure if I'd be able to go this year. Uh, because, you know, I didn't want to go no training for two, three months and then try to compete at a world championships. I just wouldn't feel comfortable with that. So that was another factor that led to uh, not competing this year at the world championships. So we'll see again, not 100% sure if I'll be at the world championships in Madrid. Obviously I'd have to qualify too. That's a pretty clear point that I have to put out there. Um, but uh, I'd like to, but again, not 100% sure. So that's kind of the basic update for where my channel is going, as well as an update in the martial arts aspect of everything. So again, as I talked about before, the next video that you guys will probably see would be the apartment tour if you guys want to see it. Again, I want to give another warning. It's going to be super boring to watch unless I can figure out something to make it interesting uh, because it's literally just white walls with a couple things in there. You know, I have just the basics. I'm a pretty minimalistic person. Um, but again, I'll, I'll try to make it interesting for you guys, but that's what you guys will probably see next. And then, like I said, maybe if I get enough cool clips or you know, something cool happens here in Paris, uh, then I can upload a video of that. But I'm kind of working right now on planning a bunch of different trips, so maybe I can make videos for different trips. But uh, like I said, a lot of things depend on other things, so it's super confusing and kind of hard to explain. But uh, I'm going to try my best to obviously upload something and upload more now that I'm kind of settled in in Germany and have most things worked out. So that's basically it for the video, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and hopefully this was a good enough update for those of you that didn't know what was going on. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to send me a message or leave your uh, question in the comments. And uh, that's basically it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.